What's going on guys? Matt in the hat. Matt Johnson Real Estate powered by Keller Williams Diamond Partners. You were tuned into the hot list today on what is today? Wednesday, May 13th. As you guys can probably tell, I have gone back to my phone, had some te technical difficulties yesterday with my laptop. So I want to get this done for you guys. So I am back on my phone. As you guys know, those of you that have that are here on the regular and those of you that are new, I come to you guys Monday through Friday at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time and we talk about the hot list. It is a property that is new to the market, been on the market, recent price reduction, something unique about the property, uh, something that, you know, I really want you guys to know about the property that is currently listed and for sale. As you guys can see, Lighting is getting a little, getting a little better. I'm trying some new things with, with some lighting and I, I don't want the reflection right off of my glasses when, when I wear them and still want to have lighting as optimal as possible. Also, while we talk about the hot list, I answer one of your, the viewer questions about whether whatever the case may be. So whether it is uh, a, a sales question, a home question, um, an activities question, whatever it is, I will answer it to the best of my ability. So while we're here, let's go ahead and get into it. I have included a link in the description down below. So make sure that you guys click on that link. It'll take you to this house so you can you can take a look at it. So the address of this house is 2811 Westlake Drive, right here in Emporia. It's a three bed, three and a half bathroom property and three car garage. How awesome is that? Uh, finished square footage on this house is 2,472 square feet. Currently listed, just had a price reduction down to 2,945. And this listing is courtesy of Coldwell Banker Emporia Real Estate. This house is absolutely immaculate. Make sure that you guys click on the link to take it to uh, my website so you can see this house. It is absolutely beautiful, absolutely phenomenal. Has quartz countertops, uh, beautiful hardwood floors. They have custom cabinets uh, built into it. It's got a sunroom. It's got new carpet, a new chain link fence. It has... Uh, new lighting throughout the house, new appliances, new ceiling fans, uh, just absolutely, absolutely beautiful house. It also has a shed out back and a basketball court. Uh, so absolutely beautiful. Got a nice little patio off the back as well to just kind of sit, relax, and enjoy the sunset. And what's better than that, right? So make sure you guys check out that check out that link. It's going to take you right to the house. Look at uh, look at the website pictures. Just absolutely beautiful, absolutely phenomenal. So, question of the day. This is actually courtesy of my youngest son Chase. Uh, as you guys know, with our current situation, hopefully winding down, and you know, hopefully there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Many of us have been spending more time at home than we anticipated, maybe even wanted. And Chase's question was, was this, what can we do as a family while, while we're home? Well, I had to explain it to him that not, not everybody's at home. I still... Do I work from home? Yes, I do. I still continue to work. Your mom still goes to work. She, she's still business as usual. She is still essential to take care of her employees and uh, her, her residents. So she still has to continue to, to go to work, show up to work, and take care of, take care of the residents. It's just, you know, not everybody has the option that, that you do of, of staying home and, you know, doing, doing class from home. 
And so this is going to be a little bit of what, what we've been doing, what we've talked about doing, and um, some of the things that we are going to implement as well. Because my biggest goal since this started was not to just put him in front of a TV, uh, you know, hours on end of, of Netflix or YouTube or gaming. I want to create memories with him. I don't want him to look back on this and think, man, I got a lot of game time. I got a lot of YouTube, YouTube time. I know all kinds of football stats or baseball stats. I don't remember a lot of family time. So that's my biggest goal. Uh, and hopefully, you know, by the time this all winds down, that's, that's going to be, Oh, man, I don't know what happened to my, to my gimbal. It just kind of gave out. Uh, but I don't want, I don't want it to be, you know, that that's what, that's what he remembers is, is the TV, not family. So here are six ideas to get you all started and build off. So maybe you, so you can do this, you can implement this at home. Uh, number one we've talked about is planning and planting a garden. I know garden season is, is already on us already. So we're kind of behind the eight ball a little bit, but you still got to prep, prep the soil. So get some, get some nutrient rich soil, uh, you know, mix, mix it up, till it up, whether it's just garden soil, potting soil, whatever the case may be. Um, just know that you're going to have to do that before you get into that, make sure that you really get everybody involved in this. So you, you got to include as many people as you can that, that are at home. Uh, what, where do you want it? What size, what shape do you want it based on where you're going to put it? Are you going to do a regular garden and just, just leave it open? Uh, do you have little monster tears like what we have and we'll dig in, digging anything and tear things up. You got to put a fence around it. Are you going to do a raised garden? If you do a raised garden, is that going to limit what you can, what you can plant? So you've got to know what you're going to have room for, what you can plan for, and also what you're going to plant for. Uh, the biggest thing that I've, I've seen on Pinterest with this is to get your kids involved, whatever you're going to uh, put down that row, the little, what are they called? Um, the little row markers that, you know, you can either put in the ground or that you can, that you can uh, put on a stake, have them draw what's going to be in there, have them draw whatever is going to be down, down that row, uh, get them, get them involved. Uh, number two, we have, we've started doing and, <clears throat> uh, Chase kind of likes, kind of doesn't like depending on whether or not he, whether or not he wins, because he's uh, he's a very poor loser. Family game night, and this is this is classic. All of us that are typically not millennials remember doing this pre-internet. This is how we entertained ourselves. This is how you know when you went to family, friends, uh, your parents went to hang out with their with their friends, took you along. You remember you remember game night. Uh, board games, old video games, uh, like Atari, like, like Pac-Man, um, Galactica, you know, maybe there was some, some charades or Pictionary, but, uh, just games, games like that, uh, that you can really enjoy and build those memories off of. Now, if there's, if there's too many games to choose from, just take one, one night a week and just alter it. Like we've, we've done battleship, we've done checkers, we've done chess, we've done monopoly and we've, we've just alternated. And, you know, even after this ends, if your family, if that's something that you guys enjoy, continue it, keep doing it, keep going with this as, as long as, as long as you possibly can. Moving on to number three on the list is movie time. Yes. Theaters are closed, so what? Make your own movie night. Get your own popcorn, your own snacks, your your own drinks, whatever the case may be, and watch new releases. Uh, Prime, I think Roku, and I know 
because I have Android, so I can only speak to that, have new releases that you can buy or rent and make, make that a family night. What we started doing with Chase is we have one night a week dedicated movie night and we are uh, raising him on the cult classics. Um, r- most recently, we were concentrating on the on the '80s. So we've watched we've watched Rambo. We've watched uh, some of the Rockies. We've watched Top Gun. We've watched um, shit. It just left me. The uh, movie where John Cusack is holding up the the boombox over his head, playing it for the lady. But we, I mean, we've watched all kinds. Of movies like that that he I mean we uh, we reference he has no idea so we've started doing that as well uh, number four redecorating plan to redecorate you know a lot of people talk about talk about redecorating and just never never get around to doing it here is your chance uh, this is your opportunity get your family involved all of them that are home you know get them involved Help pick out colors, help pick out decor, especially if it's their bedroom. Let them pick it out. Now, obviously, you know, don't get let them get too crazy with, you know, like black paint or, you know, anything, anything like that. Keep it within reason, but, you know, get them involved and let them let them pick it out. If you can't get everything right now, start what you can get done what you can and then just gradually build and finish and do what you can to, to finish it up and pick up some things at a later date if, if needed. Number five, activities drawn from a hat. Who remembers this, right? Who doesn't remember this? Most of the time, millennials don't, don't remember this. Uh, just, just saying. But, you know, we used to do this all the time if... We couldn't decide what game we wanted to play or, you know, somebody didn't want to play this or didn't want to play that. We would each write two to three suggestions or what we wanted to do on a little piece of paper, throw them in a hat, shake up the hat and and draw it out. And we would get, we would either just do, do whatever one was drawn or we would pick one, one, two or three three, whatever, whatever it was, and we would vote on who would want to do what. And we did notice that, at least our, our experience, we did notice that there was one person that kept winning their suggestions and recommendations more often than anybody else. So we had them sit out uh, from a couple times and everybody was, was good after that. So before we go to number six, let's recap real quick. So six ideas to get you started that can involve the entire family. Number one is planning and planting a garden. Number two is family game night. Three is family movie night. Four, family redecorating, right? Five activities from a hat. And finally, number six, time alone or together. Now, this has been the greatest thing I could have, I could have asked for. Um, hopefully, other parents feel the same, but this, hands down, the greatest thing that I could have asked for, and it's to the point that, that Lisa even notices, because her and Chase um, have been so close for years, and him and, him and I were never, never really that close. Well, we are closer now than we have ever been because we you know we get time together we see each other every every day we eat lunch together every every single day and it is absolutely amazing uh what i have learned from this is we both still need our alone time and w- what i mean by that is i still have i still have a job to do i still have calls to make people to talk to, houses to show, he still enjoys his, his alone time. So uh, he, he does some journaling, he does some writing. Um, yes, he will play video game from time to time. Yes, he will watch TV. Um, we limit that, but he's done a lot of reading and especially 
uh, journaling, I've learned that I don't have to fill up every minute of every day. That's one of the, you know, one of the key takeaways from this as well is he can entertain himself. I don't have to entertain him and he loves his alone time just as much as, as I do. So uh, I've learned a lot of things from him. He's hopefully learned some things uh, with me as well. The biggest thing that him and I do together, obviously not days like this, if you're around this area, it's raining, but when it's, when it's nice, we've, we've walk, gone for walks with the dog. Uh, we've gone for bike rides. We toss the football. Uh, we'll play basketball. Uh, we'll play, we'll play catch with the baseball and we'll do that for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And that gets both of us outside, gets us, especially me up from, from sitting, sitting all day. And that's really what, what I want to get out of this is, you know, get closer to him and get more time, get more time with him and create these memories because that's what I want him to remember is the time that he spent with us, not what he spends in front of the TV. So let me know what you guys are doing. Uh, did I miss anything that you guys are implementing with, with your families or friends or what, what did I leave out? What, what movie would you watch? What redecorating plans would you do? I would love to know, drop it in the comments. And as you guys know, uh, recently been added to iTunes Hot list is now available in the iTunes for download. So click that link as well. And if you guys are watching this on Facebook, hit that thumbs up, turn on the live notica- notifications so you see me when I go live. Catching this on my YouTube channel, smash that thumbs up button and like and subscribe so you get notifications when I drop these videos. That's all I got for you guys today. So thanks for watching today with Matt in the hat. Matt Johnson Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams Diamond Partners. I do this because your experience matters and should be trusted with a veteran. I'll see y'all tomorrow.